22 degrees. 22 degrees Celsius here yes. in the room. Okay, remember that because you're going to use that measurement to find the lowest possible temperature in the entire universe. The lowest? The lowest. First, you're going to start with 22 degrees in this room. You don't sound like you think I'm going to do it. You will. You just watch. <laughs> and you also have to find the pressure of the gas in this metal ball down here. And see, it's connected to a pressure gauge up here. And that's pounds per square inch. Pounds? Pounds per square inch. Yeah, that's a measurement that they use in some parts of the country that, that are not in the metric system. So give the uh, thing a tap like that to make sure the needle is loose. Now what do you read? I read 14.5 degrees. Okay, 14.5. Now you've used uh, graphs in school. Right. So here's the graph over here. Notice along the bottom, temperature, right? Along the side? Is the air pressure. pressure. Okay, so now you put, it, uh, put the, use the red pen and put the dot where, where, what was the temperature? 22. 22. And, and 14, 14 something. Okay, right in there. Very good. Now we have one point on the graph. Now come on over here because now we're going to do the same thing with ice water. And so read, I have a thermometer in there already. What does it read? It reads just above zero. So it should be zero correctly, right? Because that's the temperature uh, at which Celsius is calculated, right? Okay, so now what's the pressure? The pressure is Just Did it go up 14. or down? It went down. Right, it went down. To what? It's at 14. Okay. Zero degrees and 14. and 14. Put that on the graph. Okay. Now we're going to measure it on, in hot water. So uh, come on over here on the stove. See, I have water that's beginning to boil. And what's the temperature of the water at the moment? It's... Just 92. 92. If it were boiling, it'd be 100, right? Right. But it's not. It's 92. So remember that. And now what's the pressure? The pressure is going up All from right. 14 or 17. It's 17.8. 17.8? Yeah. Oh, now it's 18. Okay, 18. Okay, so we got to put that on the chart. So it's 18. Eighteen is the pressure. Okay, so yeah, the and pressure was 18. 92. And the temperature was 92 or something you said? Yes. 92 and 18 about like. Okay. Very good. Now we're going to do the same thing again with this dry ice bath. It's dry ice in, in uh, alcohol. Why and is it bubbling? Well, it's bubbling because some of the um, carbon dioxide is coming out of the dry ice. So put on the safety glasses. So we're just to be on the safe side. And then I'm going to put in the thermometer. And I want you to watch a very interesting phenomena. See what the temperature is now? Watch. Whoa, it's going down really fast. Now it's way off the scale. Yeah, it's way going off the scale. No, it's the going scale. hot. Yeah. It looks like it's hot. Well, obviously, it went way past zero because the scientists have measured the temperature of this bath and found it's minus 78. Okay, minus you remember the temperature of the bath is 78. Minus 78. Now comes the pressure. It's going down. See How all can that? you have to put it in so slowly? Well, the reason is because I'm boiling the liquid. The metal ball is so hot, it's boiling it. Well, then how come there's cold on the outside? Well, it's cold on the outside because the air in the room had moisture in it. When the air come here, came here next to the, to the uh, beaker, it deposited the moisture from the air. Oh, so it's like snow. Yeah, it's like snow. Okay, now it's probably settled down. What's the uh, reading of the pressure? It's 11. Okay, so you want to put that on the chart. So 11 and minus And minus 70, 78, eight. right. There's 11. There. Now, when you've done graphs, you've been able to sort of join all the lines together and extend it both up and down. Let's try that with this. Here's a straight edge. Let me hold it for you over here. And what do we got? This is, that one's a little low, and these are two a little high. So it's about, let's just say it's about like that. Does that look yes. like about to you? Okay. 
What happened to the pressure? It went right down to zero. And see what happened to the temperature? It's just it, above well, it, 300. It's a little above, or it's above 300. As a matter of fact, when scientists did this and they got down to a zero pressure, they found the temperature was minus 273 degrees below zero oh, Celsius. That is absolute zero. It's the that, coldest anything can get? That's as cold as anything can get. Yeah, that's why it's called absolute zero. And it's also called the Kelvin scale after Lord Kelvin who designed it. And scientists have tried to get at that cold and they've come very, very close. But after all, the thermometer wouldn't read when it got that cold because the molecular motion stops. And that's, right. what, that's what temperature is. And all kinds of strange things happen at those low temperatures. Anyway, you can tell people proudly that you have calculated absolute zero. Absolute zero. Right.